Well, we are also joined at this point by Mukul Rohatgi, uh, who uh, at Attorney General for India, uh, former Attorney General for India. Mr. Rohatgi, well, Indrani Mukherjee, one of the accused in uh, the ghastly Sheena Bora murder case, which had shocked us in the year 2012, has been released on bail by the top court. Uh, uh, your, right. your thoughts at this point? Look, uh, uh, the accused, this lady has spent nearly more than six and a half years in jail. She has never taken any advantage of any parole. The law makes a special dispensation or a relaxation in favor of women or sick or informed people, even if they are accused of an offense of murder. And the fact that the trial is not likely to end in the near foreseeable future because they have uh, arranged about 237 witnesses, plus the fact that there was no court, the judge was not available for the last nearly one year. And lastly, that her husband, Peter Mukherjee, got bailed two years ago. All these factors were put before the court, and the court was kind enough to grant her bail on uh, uh, keeping in view the aforesaid facts. So I am happy that she has got bail, is all I can say. Right. Um, and uh, uh, well, how much does a case like this, how much does it stand as an example in, uh, in uh, uh, the history of, uh, you know, uh, the legal history of a country? Uh, how much uh, does a case like this become an example to be followed by in many others in the future? So I, I believe, Madam, that this order of bail and the, the essence of the order or the spirit of the order I hope is followed by all courts and people who have put in five, six years in jail should be unconditionally released because liberty okay. is a part is a part of our constitution and deprivation of liberty should only be by way of necessity and not as a rule. In the year nineteen seventy eight the Supreme Court said that bail is the rule and jail is an exception. Unfortunately that has not been followed. But I think this order should also be a beacon to all the courts concerned to, to introspect and grant bail where people have put in four, five, six years of incarceration. There have been several earlier orders of the court also uh, where six, six and a half, okay. five or seven years bail has, uh, uh, incarceration has been granted bail. And I think, therefore, the, the future of bail should look bright. Thank you. Yes. Mr. Rodney, just one last question. As one of the country's top criminal lawyers, you've got bail for several people. And like you said, in India, bail has to be the norm. I ask you, the Supreme Court said we're not commenting on the merits of the case, but the Supreme Court did start off this hearing by giving out facts that she's charged with murdering her own daughter after conspiring with her husband. And she planned this murder. Yeah, let's be very clear. A bail order is never a reflection on the merits of the case. The Supreme Court's order passed today only recapitulates some of the submissions of the other side that the accused is maybe guilty of the offence. The Supreme Court is not deciding a trial and those are only pref prefatory facts about the case and the Supreme Court has commented that these are the allegations yes. and we are not commenting. On the allegations, that is correct. Because in a bail order, you cannot comment on the facts because that will prejudice a trial. And the Supreme Court is very carefully and rightly worded this order. And therefore, I mean, uh, you can't put any store by these allegations. According to me, yes. according to our case, the accused is not guilty. She has not committed a murder and she is innocent. Okay, um, this is uh, Mr. Rohatgi, one of the biggest murder mysteries of the decade that was seen in India.
And we also remember how, uh, you know, it was alleged she planned the murder in view of a live-in relationship of her daughter with Rahul, who was the son of Peter Mukherjee. Uh, so these submissions have been taken into consideration. We understand in a bail order, this is not important. But for the trial, it's going to be very interesting because the court has also said she will be moving the trial court also for bail on the same conditions that Peter Mukherjee got. Uh, Swapnil Kothari on the phone. Uh... So what do you have to say uh, uh, regarding Indrani Mukherjee getting bail? It's been a very complicated case, also a case that shook the nation. Yes, uh, well, I believe I think five to six years have passed since she's been incarcerated. So obviously, uh, the court, after considering all the circumstances that evidence will not be tampered, because whatever evidence that needed to be there must have been collected by the prosecution in this long period of time. So, and as far as the flight risk aspect would be concerned, I think they would have impounded the passport. They would have completed the, all the other formalities that are required from the people whom they grant bail. So, uh, any of those two things, these are the two things basically which are considered while granting bail. Flight risk and evidence tampering. Now, if those things are not there, then I'm sure, uh, uh, you know, the uh, court must have considered them appropriately and said that, well, I think it's time that we give bail to the person because bail is the norm and jail is the exception. But here, it's been six years. So here, jail was the norm and bail was the exception. So here, it's considered as an exceptional case in which it was it thought it fit after six years or seven years of incarceration, if my memory serves me right, that the bail was given to Indrani Mukherjee. And obviously, uh, they must have asked that as and when her cooperation is required, uh, she would be cooperating. Uh, and not only that, but any other... Uh, 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 you know, uh, strategy of uh, trying to get bail or, uh, you know, trying to uh, wriggle out of a situation would not be implemented by her. Something like saying that she met actually uh, Indrani at some point, saying that, you know, Indrani was never killed. So all of those things must have been uh, told by the court to Indrani Mukherjee or must have been indirectly right. told by bypassing right. all those bizarre theories. Right. Uh, Mr. Kothari, we'll be coming back to you. We also have with us the advocate of Indrani Mukherjee, uh, Sana Khan, joining us on the phone line. Uh, Sana, what do you have to say uh, to the fact it's a big relief, uh, a big reprieve there for Indrani by the top court? Yes, we are very happy. Hello? Uh, am I audible? Uh, am I audible? Yes, please continue. Yes, on the ground of long incarceration, she has been granted bail because she's been incarcerated since six and a half years trial was halted since the last two years and we are really happy that finally we've got a victorious order she's out, she's out on she has been granted bail <laughs> much deserved bail much deserved Hello? bail as you yeah. say but the court is saying that it is not com commenting right now on the merits of the case what uh, uh, are there any bail conditions as far as uh, indrani yes. is concerned Yes, similar conditions have been imposed on her, uh, which, were, which were imposed on her ex-husband when he was granted bail on 6 February 2020, Peter Mukherjee, by the Honorable Bombay High Court. As of now, uh, uh, well, am I audible? Uh, uh, yes, yes. As of now, it is a matter of uh, yes, personal you are. liberty Please and a constitution. Yes, it is a matter of a personal liberty and constitutional right. She has been incarcerated for, for since a very long time without any prospect of the trial commencing or even concluding in the near future since the trial has been halted since last two years. And we are really happy that she's been granted bail. So what next? Next, let's... So we'll what next? The As you say, the yes. trial has been going on. Yes. The trial has been right. going on. I believe that the next year in the, no the case is on the, the 27th. Trial. There is no progress in the trial. There are about... 37 witnesses. Only few witnesses have been examined till date. So there is no progress in the trial as of now. So let's see, we are ready to proceed with the trial. And we are hopeful that we'll get a favorable order by the end of the trial as well. Ms. Khan, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, while opposing the bail of uh, Indrani Mukherjee, your client essentially said that she is the prime accused. Someone responsible for committing a serious crime. Yes, that is the allegation. That there is a, these are all the there allegations. There is a possibility of tampering with the witnesses. That's the allegation that's been leveled against your client. But these are the allegations. She's just an accused presently. She's presumed to be innocent. 
until proved guilty. Presently, we'll cooperate with the with the trial. We will attend the dates and we will cooperate with the trial. Pres and presently, there is no question of hampering and tampering because she has shown good conduct during her incarceration period. And post her release, also we'll cooperate with the trial. Well, we are also joined at this point by Mukul Rohatgi, uh, who uh, at Attorney General for India, uh, former Attorney General for India, Mr. Rohatgi. Well, Indrani Mukherjee, one of the accused in uh, the ghastly Sheena, Mora, Sheena Bora murder case, which had shocked us in the year 2012, has been released on bail by the top court. Uh, 